Uh, hi, my name is Amir Marion. I graduated in 2014. I currently attend UC Berkeley and I'm studying economics. I think I um, wish I had been a little bit more open in high school. One of the things that I didn't really consider when I was thinking about applying to colleges was like, um, you know, what kind of environment, in terms of like a really supportive, accepting environment. So I was not out as gay in high school. And that's not something I really thought about when I was like applying to colleges. Like I just thought to myself, okay, maybe I don't want to go to school in this region of the country, but um, I didn't think to myself like how would each individual campus um, differ. And when I got to Berkeley, um, I came, I like, okay, I entered the school like completely open and it's been a super supportive environment. I've never felt any animosity. People are very supportive. There's a really strong queer community at um, school, so I wish I had you know been more open in high school because there's just such a like such a weight lifted off of um, you. So that's what I've um, one of the things I really loved, and I wish I had done in high school because Sequoia is just as a supportive environment, but I didn't um, I didn't realize that or I wasn't ready to um, to accept that. I was not expecting the tests. I think that was like the biggest like whoa change from like high school to college. Um, in high school, even if you're in a class where like exams are 60% of your grade, um, you still have a bunch of tests. So if one test you mess up, then you can just like make it up with other ones. In college, a midterm, 20, 30% of your grade, and that's it. Doesn't average out with anything else. A final 40% of your grade, I was just like blown away because you don't have time to if you only have one midterm or maybe even two, you don't have time to learn how to take your professor's test. You just have to be super prepared. So I feel like people, like I need to learn, I needed to reinvent my studying. I mean, I knew how to study for high school, but then I needed to learn even more how to study in college. What was your favorite class and why? Um, oh yeah, okay, I know it for sure. Um, I took a class on Islamophobia and constructing otherness, and um, it was so amazing. The professor was brilliant. He was there were no powerpoints. He had his laptop, and obviously he had all his notes. But he just knew how to talk, and he would just speak for uh, an hour and a half. Um, and sometimes he would go on his like mini rants, and those were my favorite parts. I'd be like, yes! I'm typing down like every word he was saying. I just learned so much, and that's an opportunity that um, I would have never had. Like high schools don't offer Islamophobia classes, um, so I think just really um, taking uh, taking use of that. Okay, I have to take general classes, or you know, I have to fill units. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna really find a class that I like. Um, or that's interesting me, or something completely out of what I've experienced before. What are your instructors like? Are you in a class of 600 and you're like, they don't even know you? Uh, yeah, so my math lectures have both, both semesters have been like 400 people, um, which is huge. So the best advice I can give is sit in the first three, four rows because, um, and other people have said this advice, so uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm knowledgeable about this because I've heard it from other people. Um, because when you sit, if you sit all the way in the back, or at least midway in a large lecture hall, it feels huge. The professor is so far away from you that like you're more likely to be on Facebook um, during lecture. But if you're three, four rows away, then or maybe even one or two, then it's like high school. The professor is like right next to you, and you feel so much more engaged. So that's my best. Um, advice, sit close to the front um, because you'll feel more engaged.